What's going on, Uncle Hedge? Gcam Game here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes unboxed video for you. And today is part two of the new Update 11 units. Spaceman Allen, the White Spaceman. That kind of sounded a little weird in today's day and age, but hey, whatever. Right, and we got the tank finally coming to this team. And he's definitely an interesting tank, right? He's a, a he's a tank that, I'm gonna just tell you this, he doesn't taunt by himself. He has a way to gain taunt, uh, but he doesn't have like, like an ability that taunts or a passive like Scarlet has that gives him taunt. He has a pretty cool way and an interesting way to gain taunt, which I actually really like for this team comp. Uh, particularly because they're so speed based. So I feel like there, there's definitely was some backlash about like a tank that doesn't taunt, but I feel like they're so fast. The spacemans, it's like, it really wouldn't work to have somebody who just like taunts by themselves. You, like, you want to be able to kind of grab it when, do it when you can. And I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, but let's, let's, let's dive into them. So this spaceman has the right attitude to lead the team and explore unknown planets across the galaxy but no one is quite sure who exactly put him in charge. So he's the white spaceman who uh, put himself in charge because he thinks he's a great leader. So, okay, we get the message you're sending, Game Loft. You know, we, we, we get that. Let's see, let's see how that is. Makes sense in today's day and age. You know, we, we, we got that, I guess. All right, I'm ranting here. All right, let's look at his basic. Deals 100% to the target foe and has an 80% chance to inflict Clumsy on the target foe. So I like that, that's a cool basic, right? 80% chance to inflict Clumsy is a really nice debuff. And if the target foe has Taunt, then he clears Taunt from the target and it applies himself. So his basic can clear Taunts and steal Taunts. I, like, that is insane, right? Claunt, Taunt, Claunt, Taunt clearing like Wu, Scarlet dominated the game for so long and it still really is a big part of the game. Like it's why people still use Burnabus and people still use Wu. Like obviously there's a lot of reasons to use both of those characters, but that's the main reason is they can buff clear. And not only buff clear, they can taunt clear, which Locust also does too on his taunt. He can clear people's taunt. But the ability to clear taunts is one of the biggest abilities that this game has, right? Uh, it's one of the most important abilities that you can have in this game. And Alan does it on his basic. So he can basically clear a taunt at will. But wait, there's more. Uh, tech Shield, which makes me also think Alan is going to be techie as well. All allies gain damage block one for two turns. Okay, that's nice. A little bit of damage block, a little damage reduction. We got that. And max health two up for two turns. Okay, uh, also pretty good. More health, 30% more health and 25% damage reduction. That's a nice little shield. Hold on. There's also a 50% chance to reassemble classic space ally heroes with 50% health and 10% chance for each revive token on Allen. Reassembled heroes gain hardy and speed up one, speed up two for one turn. So he's got a 50% chance to Revive a figure, right, with Tech Shield. Okay, that's not bad, right? That That's, you know, it's not 100%, but it's pretty good. But when he has Revive Tokens on, which we're gonna talk about how he gains Revive Tokens in a little bit, he gains 10% more chance. So he can be at a point where he's like, I'm 100% chance to revive. So it's a little weird to have your tank and taunter also be your reviver because you definitely want to protect your, like revivers get targeted first. Like if I see a yuppie or an Aurora, I'm targeting them down because I don't want to deal with revives. But you're also dealing with he's tanky and he's going to be soaking up things and his revive is also not just there for a revive, right? You can also be using it to kind of gain these buffs. Uh, another ally hero with the lowest health receives stealth. If that hero has less than 20% health, then heals by 50% of their max health. So on top of, I can also revive someone, maybe 50 to 100% chance. I'm gonna give these nice buffs. Whoever is, is hurting the most, I'm gonna throw you under stealth. Oh, and if you're really hurting, like you got less than 20% of your health, I'm also gonna give you a 50%, a bar, a cook bark heal, essentially. Or not a cook bark heal, an Aurora heal, because Aurora heals your percentage of your health 
Restrict Bark heals his health. So yeah, you're gonna get half of your total HP back. That's this is a really good buff. A really good um yeah, it's a really good buff. It's a really good special. But wait, there's more. Uh, special two, space time accident. 80% damage to all foes, so an 80% AOE. And all flow all flows, all foes are inflicted with accuracy down one for two turns. And one random foe have has, not have, should be has, a 70% chance of being inflicted with stun for one turn. So it does accuracy downs and then randomly one of them might get a 70% chance to get stunned. Oh, and on top of them getting accuracy down, you're all gonna get a dodge up. So it Yikes, man. This is this is a this is sick. This is sick. This is literally sick. And passive, MySpace. Better than Facebook, I guess. Uh, whenever Alan receives damage, he has a 70% chance to gain payback for one turn. Right, so he gains gains taunt, he gets damage, and then he gets payback. Okay, that's cool. When Alan is defeated while having payback, all allies are he healed for 30% of his max health, damaging all foes by 30% of their max health. So that could be like a straight up kamikaze thing. He could take people out with him after he dies and also heals his thing, his, um, heals his buddies. Whenever a classic space hero is defeated, Alan receives a revive token. So basically if a classic space guy gets defeated, you're now at up to a 60% chance that that sh uh, shield is going to revive them. When Alan receives a revive token, there's a 70, uh, when Alan has a revive token, so if he dies with a revive token, kind of similar to like zombie, there's a 70% chance, chance for Alan to reassemble himself with 40% health. This clears all stacks of revive, right? So the only way he clears stacks of revive is if he dies, right? So as he stacks them up, he's got more and more of a chance to bring other people back. Interesting kit. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna tip my hat to the devs. Like this is an interest, these two kits are very intricately designed, right? They're sick, they're insane, but they're cool. They do interesting stuff, right? I feel like, I mean, yeah, their kits that they've been designing have, have been pretty cool and interesting and complicated, right? I, I like their kits. Right, I'd like to see them put out like a more basic, like a good new figure that's a little more basic, kind of like a beginner level figure that we can farm, but yeah. So let's talk about why two new classic spacemen and why space in general. You know, we didn't really talk about too much in the last video. For one, we know raids are on their way and they're gonna be space score well themed. And I, I think that they thought, they said even a while ago, they needed new raid reward figures because, you know, gens, basically everybody has gens at this point. And gens is supposed to be the raid reward. So I'm thinking both of these two new figures because they're so sick might be raid reward figures. Uh, they might also be available in a brick pace. One of them might, they might be going into new shops. Uh, we don't know, I don't know yet what exactly is going to change in this update. I just got kits to go over. So I didn't really get like brick notes per se telling us this is, this person's going in this shop. But, you know, there's speculation that Ernest is going into the master shop. I have my own speculation that I think it's gonna be Gorewell because it doesn't make sense for every other all-star event reward to be in the master shop, but not Gorewell. You know, I feel like those all-star events are like, hey, you wanna take a little more of a free-to-play approach, a slow grind to getting these master figures, uh, you know, cause newer, uh, newer players can't get master tiles at the rate that somebody like me, who I'm raking in hundreds of master tiles a day can do. So interesting, I I'm curious to see is one of them going to be a raid reward and maybe the other one will be available in a brick pace. Uh, or maybe the other one, maybe an unbox for the other one and just make it, maybe an unbox for both of them and just make them straight like, you have to buy these figures because they're sick nasty and they'll also be raid rewards down the line. Cause unbox were cool. I, I, I didn't hate unbox. It was a nice way to get new figures in the game. And I, I actually kind of like that. People are gonna hate me for this. I like the, hey, for the pay to 
pay to win people, they get first shot, right? They get first dibs at this. That's what, you know, they're supporting the game, they're paying. And they get first dibs at these characters. But, you know, they'll be free, they'll be free to play at some point, you know, a few months down the line, right? And then you can get them, but uh, maybe, maybe a little quicker, but I think that makes sense. You know, put them out as unbox and then put them for raid rewards. I don't know. Uh, next video, I'm gonna be going over the classic space reworks. So Reed and Jen's got some minor buffs and then they also did a little bit of a rework on the Galaxy Explorer. <laughs> As if any of those neat things needed buffs, but I think the the big th reason that I think they did it was they wanted it, they just made more synergies with Classic Space, right? Not only with Classic Space with these two new characters and the other two characters kind of synergizing with them, which I really like that they did. Uh, I'd also like to see them add the techie tag to Reed because Reed is kind of a techie too. He's using tech stuff, but they have so. They did set a precedent because they added the LaCoy tag to Private LaCoy last time. So it, it is not unheard of for them to add tags now to other characters. I also wouldn't mind seeing Quincy get the techie tag. Uh, there also is going to be a video coming out on Blacktron reworks. They reworked the Blacktron set and they, they did some buffs to Quincy and Dwayne. Not gonna go too into that, but just know that that's what's coming down the pipeline. The next couple of days, new videos till Tuesday. Hopefully I'm thinking the update will be Wednesday, but you know, who knows when they're gonna shoot this thing out. That's pretty much all I got for you today, Knuckleheads. Please remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell for some notifications, and as always, remember to knuckle up.